welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I am so glad to have you back checking out what we are up to. So in today's video, I am bringing you a secondhand find haul. So this is the items I have found throughout. Actually, I think I found all this in a day of going to secondhand finds. I actually was supposed to be going to an estate sale and oops, I was a day early. Have you all done that? Like I was so excited about the estate sale. Um, and then as I'm driving up there and I'm almost there, I'm like, oh, and it just happened to be my daughter's birthday on it my daughter's birthday and so then the date hit me that the date that I remembered seeing on the marketplace post yeah and I knew as soon as I turned there and I didn't see any signs that yes I was a day early so I thought okay fine I'm just gonna go out and go to some of the thrift stores in the area so <laughs> yep so let's let me share with you what I found at those thrift stores One of the thrift stores that I hadn't been to in a while was a little Bibles for Mission thrift store. So it was kind of nice because they are only opened Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yeah, so that's hit or miss if you're in that town or not. So I spied right off the bat this beautiful, I think it's um, Fenton. It's a Fenton vase. It's hand painted. Now they, on, eBay they're going for about $23 but I picked this one up for a dollar fifty so that that's a great investment it's beautiful I knew um, the the painting kind of reminded me of something Alex would pick up and then when I picked it up I knew the weight it just there's just something about the weight of it that you can tell that it is just made nicely and then my next little find my next little find um, black and white caught my eye, so it's a black and white animal, a glass animal pulled. Now it's not signed um, or anything like that. And then this one, uh, it was five dollars. I know, but I, it was black and white and animals. So, and in my booth, I would do like a ten dollars. Now we are just starting to sell a little bit. Um, we've been selling on eBay. And we're going to be selling a little bit on the Whatnot app. So that this might be a piece that we try on there and see how that goes. So hopefully at the time you see this video, we have a couple of sales under our, to see if, how we're doing. Cause I don't even know how to advertise that yet. There are, you know, old boxes, $5. I paid for this old box. So, um, I kind of can see some writing on it, but and, but I can't tell you that I can really make it out, but old boxes are just fun decor pieces. So I could spice this up a little bit by putting some decoupage paper on it. So we'll see, we'll see what I do with it. And then of course I had to stop by a Goodwill <laughs> because you know, that's how that works. So hit that and then, so I did spy this for $6.29. Now I've actually um, done, resold this mailbox before and this one's in great shape. Um, I think I hung some greenery in our booth, but there, it doesn't even really need to be repainted. Um, I have to see how the back goes because they put some felt pads on it and these are those oh my gosh ones These are just really stick along with taking off the tags. This was originally $39.99 At Hobby Lobby, which was you know half off 50% off but oh these felt pads are a beast to take off So hopefully I can heat them up a little bit or put some Dawn dish soap or something <sighs> Because sometimes when you use Goo Gone and different paint jobs, it starts to take the paint off. So I might try some Dawn dish soap first. So then I also stopped at the Salvation Army. So what did I find that day at the Salvation Army? I picked up this little this set of three, um, $1.99. These always sell. I'll put a little, some greenery in them, put some jute twine they usually do really well for me sets of three in these little wire baskets so i did not pass that up and then for a dollar 99 yes a dollar 99 a vintage rolling pin now i've kind of just tried to steer away from rolling pins it's like they 
I picked them up, I picked them up, and they sold, they sold, they sold. I put labels on them, and they sold, and they kind of just been sitting, hanging out. So I've actually taken them, most of them, out of my booth, unless they are painted. So I, I don't know if I should spruce that up or if I should leave that alone because that tells a story of how antique it is and how, you know, how people use these. So i probably just leave it as is and see how it goes. Wood always catches my eye, so I don't know. This was 59 cents at the Salvation Army. I love the little bobbin of it. I don't really know the story of why. I don't know why it has a hanger. If you all know, please tell me. I have not Google lensed it to figure that out, but I don't know. I, wooden bobbins, I just never pass them up if they're cost efficient. And then for $4.99, I don't know if I paid too much for it. Um, it's a crock with a rooster on it. Somebody hand painted. So I could take it off. I could put my own on their label if I wanted because it's just a new, newer crock. So whether I decide, I kind of like the rooster. I think somebody might. I mean, I think people still like roosters. So I don't know. I'll see what I decide there. And then for $1.99, this tile caught my eye. I did Google Lens this one when I was in the store. And it came up that it the, t the tile itself resells for $24. So being framed and being into a piece of wall decor or a trivet, I thought, okay, I'll pick this up for $1.99. I thought it's got that Santa Fe type of, you know, look to it. So it says, hmm, Prusen, P-R-U-S-A, if you can read that, um, tile. So yeah, I liked that one. And then there was a piece of pottery <laughs> for $2.99. I picked up this piece of pottery. It is signed at the bottom. It's probably hard to see with the light. So just a nice little vase. I haven't been really running across too much pottery lately. And for 79 cents a piece, I really found a lot at the Salvation Army. For so for 75 cents, 79 cents a piece, I picked up these two bags. Um, they are like a dried something or other clove, maybe. I'm not really sure what's in there. It's just nice to have on hand if I'm doing an arrangement or doing a wreath or something and I want another little accent to have on hand. It's something you don't have to pay full price for. And then for $2.99, I saw this. I can't believe it was still there. It is heavy. Um, you can definitely tell that it was hand made, hand pulled. And for $2.99, purple tags, I forgot purple tags were half off that day, so $1.50. It's got the air bubbles in it. It is just gorgeous. What is that? Um, swung type. I'm learning. I'm not positive, but oh, and it's just a nice blue shade. Now it was up on a top shelf, so I don't know if people really caught how nice of a bowl that this was. So I was happy it was still there for me. Oh, I didn't, oh, I forgot. Um, at the Bible's for Mission, I did get a Fenton bird. Now he was $5, but I've resold actually the same one a couple times in eBay for $18. So a $5 investment I thought was well worth it. No flea bites, no chips or cracks, nothing like that. So um, sadly, there's no um, where the tag used to be. You can see where the tag used to be, but um, I think the other two, maybe one had a tag, I think. For another Salvation Army, because you know, you have to hit them all. Uh, for $1.99, this was the only thing I got at the Salvation Army. It's a pottery little crock. Um, just had the cork. It is, it's got a um, signed on the bottom. I, I like that green in color. I just, it's just nice and simple. It just has the shiny glazing around the top and then a matte glazing around the bottom. It's in wonderful shape. So $1.99, great price. I, I don't know why I try to separate things out because that never works. And then for $5.29 at Goodwill, I picked up another wasp catcher. I don't have a wasp catcher. And this one, this one caught my eye because of the colors. Um, and it's still, it's new. It's got the little syrup you could make if you want to make the sugar syrup. It's got the tag that somebody gave it away, but it was $5.29. And yes, I do sell these. Now, I don't know how this one will be. Um, a lot of times 
This one is new and a lot of times when I buy them second hand, they've been used and the paint is chipping off. So they always seem, the paint, the paint job is just on there. It's not really embedded into the glass. So once you get that wet, it does start to chip off. And I've sold them just the clear before, but for this one, I'll leave it as is and sell it the new that it is. Then I popped over to um, the community thrift. Now their tags, I always forget because it's just a, it's just a dot <laughs> and then it's, so I think this little guy was $2.99, but look how cute he is. Oh, I just, uh, he, yep. So I did not leave him behind. I thought he was super sweet. And then for 99 cents a piece, I know these were 99 cents. They were the cute little um, milk containers. They are newer, but that's okay. I, and of course, I'm gonna leave that um, gingham. I think that's gingham. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, ribbon on them too. Oh my gosh, loved those also. And then my last, I got a couple more pieces. And my last piece, um, this was Salvation Army. It was just a nice, for $2.99, it was just a nice tin. Now, I'm torn because it's in great shape. It's got a great seal on it. The inside is clean. Um, I'd like to spruce it up a little bit more, even though the label is Beekman's 1802 Dairy Goat Dairy Farm. So, I don't know if it had what it had in it, um, but I kind of would like to put a label or something on it because it's gray in color now and you can't really see the gray in color. So if somebody wanted to use this for decor or for storage, you wouldn't necessarily see it because it would just kind of like, oh, what's that, you know? So I'd like it to pop a little bit more, but it's a perfect little handled, awesome tin and you can still use it for food storage. And then also at the community thrift, now this, I, I love white pictures, so this one caught my eye. This is a little bit more, I don't know, mid-modern, would you call it? Um, I think it was $4.99 or $3.99. I don't know, I'm so bad with what the stickers are because you're always buying multiple. Um, it's not marked or anything, but it's, it's a beautiful ceramic pottery type of piece. It's nice and heavy, no chips, no cracks. I thought that was just a neat design so I did not leave that behind and then my last piece and my last piece it was this butter dish so this is a Mary and Martha be joyful in the hope so I love butter dishes this is a nice size butter dish I think this one was $2.99 um, so Mary and Martha so great, and this, like I said, this is a nice size butter dish. So I love the little knobbies of it. I love the little saying. If you don't want the saying, you can turn it around. So yeah. So talking about the weekly auction that we have been going to on Tuesday nights, it's just a local business. So I'm gonna share with you what items we got this time. This is the first time we stayed to the entire thing. We usually, it starts at four. We usually are done about, seven o'clock not only do they auction off like um, home items garage items stuff like that they also auction off food and sometimes i lose my attention because i'm hungry by then but anyway so this time we stayed we a couple friends were there so i stayed we stayed with them until the end so that was nice getting a little you know you're going enough now that you know you have some people to hang out with it always makes it a little bit better so the first thing i bid on that night um, and I didn't even bring that in. I've already going to donate it. it. Was it was a huge box of a whole bunch of home interiors, glass votives. I don't really deal with that. The only thing I wanted for the dollar were these. <laughs> these little candlesticks. When I paint them up, they sell automatically. But I always need to pick them up cheap enough because I can only make like seven dollars for the set. So a dollar I can do these. If I get anywhere to try to five bucks a piece, they will never sell. They'll just sit there. So I know what I can sell them for in my area. Now my next purchase, um, I probably paid too much for it, but, and you can go online and you can see what they're selling and you can also go early, but we don't necessarily go very early to study everything. So we held up a wooden box, which of course has my heart. And then he said there was a whole bunch of these little tins in there. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm still trying to collect more wooden boxes to resell. 
So yeah, I paid $5 for it. I don't know. Yeah, $3.50. But anyway, so there's this little tin in there and then there was some other little metal pieces. This apparently screws into the wall to hold something. Um, and then there was this little soap holder. And there is, these were little wooden containers. Um, so I might be able to create something out of that. This one does have a lid too. It just fell, <laughs> it just fell off. He may have thought that they were all metal like that. So I don't, I'll see what I can create with that. And then my next one, I believe I got this old, you know, I love wood. I love that age galvanize. I got this one for $7. So I'll clean this one up. Um, it already has wording on it. So I probably won't mess with that wording. Um, so we'll see how it cleans up and what it looks like when I get the dust off of it. And then the next came up and what we were really staying for, there was Crocs and I had not um, purchased too many Crocs through this auction yet. So I realized that after the food, after people um, bid on the food or picked up the food that people left. So I guess I need, we needed to be staying longer, but everything's for a reason. So right off the bat, after the box, they started selling some Crocs. And so what they do is you uh, you bid on them. And so my friend was bidding on one that she wanted that said it was blue and said salt. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting this auction thing down that if I bid with her, then whatever she ends up paying, then I can pay the same price because I was the second bidder. So for $11, um, Ellen got hers. And so then I, I um, she got her salt. And then for $11, you all, so I got, this is my color of Crocs. I don't necessarily always have to have them say anything. This one's not even chipped or anything. So $11. And then I also got this one for $11, this number two little acorn pottery one. Um, it does have a crack. It's got a little chippage going, or crackage going there, a little chippage, but... Uh, that does not bother me in the least. I have quite a collection of these. $11 is a great price. And then the next thing to come up with some galvanized. <laughs> so um, I didn't get the, I think, yeah, I think I won that bid. And I think, again, I think it was $11. So still not bad. So the first pit thing I picked out for my $11 was another galvanized watering can. So yeah, I wish they always would have the watering spouts, but I'm still collecting, changing them out to the really more vintage ones that I have. So this will just stay with me. And then the next thing for $11, and I'm sure it was just there because one, it's got a little distinct look to it and that it's pink. So hold on. Yep. It is a pump. It's a smaller in size. It is very pink. It still pumps. And if you all saw our outdoor video where we changed, um, we have a water feature that's a pump. I think just spray painting this black, I can get $45 easily in our booth for this one. So I like the unique shape of it all. Um, yeah, so yep, it just needs to be cleaned up and painted a little bit different color and I think that it will sell really well. So that is it for my auction finds. So I do see a couple things that I will probably make over, but if you were just here for the haul, thank you for watching. But if you want to stay for the makeovers, they're coming up next. So just note that I already had cleaned everything before I brought it out to the workshop, just with some Dawn dish soap and some hot water and let them dry. So right off the bat, I'm going to start off with these cute little candlesticks. And it is as easy as just spray painting them black, sealing that black in with some polycrylic. And then I'm going to go ahead and hand paint them using the Rust-Oleum's chalk paint so I can distress them. But my chalk paint is a white linen and chiffon mix. That way it's not so white and it's not so yellow. After two coats of paint, making sure everything is covered. This is, my paint is a little bit older, so it's a little bit thicker. I probably should have watered it down some, but I didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead to distress it and take some tan sandpaper and it make it a little bit more smooth. And once I get it to where I like that, I'm just going to take a wet wipe and water distress it a little bit more, showing some of that black underneath. And then I'll set them off to the side, make sure that after I water distress it, that it is dry before sealing it in with some polycrylic. <music> Thank you. 
And then for this water pump, yep, I just got it all cleaned up. And now we're just gonna use the farm implements, which is the same stuff that we used on our outdoor furniture and absolutely love it. No top coat needed whatsoever. So I'm just going to spray this on. For my next transformation, I went to my computer. I have a whole bunch of saved graphics from Graphics Fairy, Pinterest, Etsy. As you see, I have quite the, yeah. So I am just going to pick out one that I think will fit onto that white can. And the Cranky Blackbird always sells really well for me. So I think I can get this image to fit over the top of that. So when I click on it in my downloads, it just comes onto my pages. I have a Mac computer. So then I need to copy it and put it into my Excel program. So that way I can size it appropriate to what object I'm putting it on. And I'm not using any special paper. I'm just using my plain copier paper to print it out on. So now all I need to do is cut as close to the black, not leaving any of the white to make a label for this can. And now I'm just going to use some Mod Podge on the back of it, completely covering just the back of the paper. So thanks again for watching today's video, guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out our channel for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we've uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye.